All right, welcome back to the drawing database. Professor Mark Leone here. And we need to do, we need to have some uh, models, poses where we're demonstrating the volumetric figure. Those, uh, we had to take those down because of our compliance uh, issue with Crokey Cafe. And now that we have our own models, we can, we can do that. So we're going to do about five or six poses here with Oksana clothed or semi-clothed. And then um, uh, there'll be extra bonus poses at the end of the video. So go check those out. You can have a bunch of extra practice. So let's get started. I've got a Carbothello pencil. So a chalky kind of pencil. You can use any material you want if you're in YouTube land. And then I've got a little uh, hard edge here to tighten things up. And of course, we're, we're making, we're working with the volumetric figure, so we're going to work through more boxes. So let's start with gestures. So analyzing the pose of where the model is. We can even start with an oval head if we want. And we'll, we're going to boxify everything later on anyway, so we can start that out slightly bending down or looking down. Model here, eye line, bottom of the nose, mouth and through here. You're kind of coming down to the neck. Find and capture that shoulder axis line in through here, here to here. Kind of mark those bony landmarks. Again, you know, she's, she's twisting a little bit. Here's her center line. Here's the center of her face. Comes through the neck here where the pin of the neck is there all the way over to the rib cage, through to where the, the button of her uh, jeans are right there. That's the new center line moving all the way over. So we'll mark that a little bit. Okay. Come on through and over to the knee, finding that armature, out down the foot. We might get her on, might be a little, little uh, cropped off a little bit. Foot coming over through here, which is okay. Let that crop off. If that happens, don't don't allow the figure to get smaller as it comes through the the drawing. Knee to knee here, so longer here. Really push her out and over, and she's going to come off the page just a little bit there. Finding that flow armature to the arm elbow, and through, and then up and arm over, not quite as high and not high as the head, and out and through there. So let's start to find the lima vein a little bit. Let's find that shoulder. Beaming through here, shoulder over shoulder to shoulder. Find that rib cage, breast form, abdomen. That could be a form. You could break that in parts. Okay, notice I'm drawing very lightly. Okay, over to the pelvic unit. Let's find this whole bean shape first before we get that volumetric figure. In through here, buttock in through here. Nice twisting and turning. And now we're ready to really kind of boxify things as we see her. So we see, we'll probably see a little bit of the top of her head just slightly. So let's take that into measure here and over. It's a box. We'll see a little bit of that left side. So we're going to get this angle right there that I just drew down and through. We'll come around. Okay, we're combiosoing the model, if you will. To tilt her over a little bit, get that eye line square. That's all you really need for the head is about the, about that much. You don't need a whole lot beyond that. So we have the head in through here. We'll get a little bit of that side coming in and over and through. And of course, the ear would fall about right in through there. If we can see that, roughly right in through there. Let's put the neck on. So a lot of times, even when I'm boxifying, I'll start out. You see, Combi also do that. He'll use some curves in those boxes. Make sure that those boxes are very flexible. Flexible tube-like, bendable, plasticky kinds of kinds of forms. So we get a, a tilt here. Okay, moving over. So I can round out that box a little bit and then push her over in through there a little bit. So let's see the the uh, shoulder to shoulder now. We'll come over. We'll get to the top of that box over. Right in through here, roughly there. Now I'm using a, uh, a little straight edge, but don't make it too too technical. Keep that sketchy, loose quality with it if you can. So coming down here, we'll just move over the breast form. So sternum is right in through here. So there's the rib cage and over. So we'll get that pulling that box in through here and around. We're going to get a little bit of the side. Do we, we see her side here? Maybe a little bit more. Right in through and downward and over. Okay. 
I'm going to leave the breast warms off. They would attach through here at 45 this way and this way. Okay. Now, really getting that pull now, we see this pull here, the center here, and really pulled over. So here we see the center of the pelvic unit about right here now. So there's our center. There's our cruxing turn of our pelvic unit. So we're going to get this upturned, right, and over a little bit. And then we'll see the center about right there and the buttocks will be turned. We'll make that a little bit wider where the meteor part of the buttocks is and through there. So we get that nice turn. And of course, we get that twist in here and over right in through there. And there's the center of that form right in through, right in through there with, with her. So now we can come over. Let's keep on going down the leg here, right in through here. We find that here to here and we can find the joint. Okay, you want to give your, your legs, you never want to leave them flat, just one. You need at least two planes, sometimes three a little bit. So what we see is the front coming right through here and a little bit of that side plane. We're going to uh, pull this other leg down too, just a gesture of it, so we can through it, see through it here. Okay, here's the knee over and then up above. Okay, and then I'll fill this with a curve for now as it attaches onto the hip buttock, pelvic area, and of course we have the side over through here. Here is the belly, the, um, not the belly, but the jeans button right in through there. So now we can come over about where that shadow uh, form is. That's where the side, but I'm going to push it a little bit further over right into here, and then we'll finish the knee here as it turns this way, and then around it over. See that? And then we can leave that a nice little bit of a curve in through there. Now we come up the side. We have a little bit of an oval for that thickness of the thigh. There are jeans. There we see that then up to the buttock and then block it, kind of curvy block it off and through there. And I'm going to make this a shadow under here so we can separate this too. We see that a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> And then we'll come down her leg about where the seam of the jeans down the side is almost really where we see her side plane of her leg. So about right in through here, split over and up. There's that blockier form. This will come here and downward to tell us it goes to the side. It will make that a little bit stronger. And then there's where that, that would connect right up in there, kind of nice and graceful. And we'll just put a little bit of tone here to make that flow on the side. And then we'll do, we'll finish these legs out just uh, a little bit. See if I can move it down. We'll kind of coat over the knee here. Okay. And then come on down here. We're getting a turn. So we'll get the feeling of this in her jeans here to the foot. I'll just kind of leave the foot off so we won't kind of do such a uh, hard edge kind of cropping. And so we have a little change of now the the uh, joint a little bit so we get a little bit more frontal about here coming on down here to here that's going to taper we have the egg form of the calf simple calf gastrocnemius and soleus down and then we come over to the quality of the cuff of the leg and the foot and then out that way in our drawing we can tone that side down let's get the other leg in through here, coming on over. And so we can feel the link with our back with our gesture. We know that at least from, let's work to the ankle over here, it's longer here, it's more diagonal. So it would be probably about right in through there. And pretty far out, probably too far out that I have, or farther out than the elbow. So probably about right in through there. So we can bring her over. I'll feel that calf right in through, coming over around, meteor down, uh, thicker here, and over to the knee, then back, and then we'll feel downward, downwards as we thrust down to the malleolus, or the ankle area, and roughly about in there. Now, let's find that front plane a little bit as she's facing more this direction, right? So it's not quite where that seam is. So you get a little bit more here, but then you get even less, less than that because the foot is really curving and coming back that way too. So what we're going to see then is about from here about this much and then really almost going to a profile, okay, 
with just maybe a little bit of edge in that cubic sort of box and I'll round this out. See it's like a box and it's also a, um, a rounded kind of form. We have that cap which is fine. I'll put a little tone here as well and then we're kind of on the races with her there. In terms of that, let's coat this back a little bit and let's push top shoulder, the side planted through here where the breast forms are in through here. I'll just get an indication of where they're at just to make that feel female. <clears throat> Gender is not so important right now, uh, but it certainly will be, obviously. And then we'll uh, take on the shoulder region, downward, a little foreshortening here to there, okay, and then over. We'll find that and through, and we'll boxify that. So what we see here with the deltoid is it attaches over and through here. We see that plane about right in through here. Here's our strong shoulder plane. Right in through and over, we see that side as it cascades over. And we'll start to disappear. We'll fill that in with the box. Then we'll fill this bottom part here over. So first I'll round it. And then we see this stretching, that top plane showing about here, like so. Here's our edge there, and then taper down to her hand, and then we'll just sim correctly simplify the hand into more of a little bit of shape, resting on the back of the buttock and the hip, right into there, and of course we have our, our shading through there. And we can attach here, and attach over, and find a little shading. And through here, we can just get around the back there, and all that over and through there, <clears throat> and then let's find the upper arm in through here. I'll find the joint over and through. Find that gesture back and through and over. And we'll take her a little bit more of the shoulder. We'll boxify that. What we see is here. It's a little bit of a twist and over. It gets a little bit wider there. I love how this, this deltoid comes over with the pectoral through there. And we just see a little bit of that sliver and it gets a little bit wider here and then we'll curve it to make it look just a little bit more natural. And I'll just allow, the hand will probably get a little cropped off as it comes over here. We'll just let that fade, fade off a little bit and we'll feel the eye line one more time and the nose line in through here and the mouth line into there. And I think we're off to the races there. All right. Give your drawings a little bit of a grounding plane too, something to to locate them on the composition. That will help quite a bit. These will be about 15 minutes or so in terms of their, your, your diligence on your time, time frame with this. All right, let's go on to the next pose. All right, our next pose here, a little bit more of an athletic, active uh, volleyball pose in the, the leotard uh, 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 dressing. So let's go ahead and work with Beginning of the gesture, so we'll work that beautiful armature through here. We'll find the gesture of the head through very quickly, kind of a triangle in my, in my vision here that I see, something like that. And we're going to have that hand above the head. So we want to leave some space for that. You want to use all that compositional structure coming around to her, really pointing out here. See the triangle between the hand, the elbow, and then around to the gesture here, point one, two, three, just a little bland marking that I'm using there for the hand out and through here. Let yourself be dramatic and flamboyant when you're getting that pose, you're feeling that gestural pose, armature roughly in through here, legs moving over, cascading the whole model in through here, knees to here, leg, see I'm getting that knee uh, aligned at a diagonal, she's coming through and then over and this leg is slightly back as this knee is just a little bit higher and over she points through a little bit. <clears throat> Let's find the line of beam here and over, right shoulders, nice and arch broad shoulders and through here. Here's the line of beam, breast form coming along, tilt it up a little bit and over. Line the beam in through here. And now we're kind of ready to start to really boxify that model and really see her emerge. Let's get her head. It's a little bit big. I'm going to uh, shorten her head out a little bit. So we've got 
a challenging head. We're looking slightly up. She's slightly tilted in through there. So what we find is this to here. Okay. Here's the east side plane right in through and up and over and through here. And so we're going to cascade up with our box a little bit and downward in through here, coming over right in through there. So we see that beautiful upturn of our eye line and then nose line in through here. And we don't see the top, so we're going to move down in direction here, okay, and over. And then we're going to take this on for the side plane and in that side plane over with the ear, roughly right in through, right in through there. You find the center line of the eye, excuse me, between the eyes, down to the chin of our right in through there, so we can almost go back there just a little bit with that. Let's put that neck on a little in through here. Okay, we see that to there. We see a nice cylinder to begin with, and we boxify that. We'll see that side plane where that muscle is about right there downward. So we see that box here. We can tighten that up just quickly and let that taper higher as it normally does when we have a neck. That, that particular view of the neck will certainly uh, feel uh, wider at its base with those sternocleidoid mastoid muscles. All right, let's find our center here and over. Okay, we can start to see this first box emerging here, emerging there. Has a feeling we won't see the top of that box, so we'll see underneath here and over. Let's really dramatize that. They're roughly about the same. I'm going to put this left shoulder just a little bit higher then and curve that so you see that's very subtle and through there's that tilt of the upper part of the ribcage box here to here here and downward a little bit let's take it a little bit lower right in through there here's the center as she's pushed over and it comes through down to the pelt bottom of the pelvic floor right in through there let's taper this a little bit more and over okay so we see that emerge that box and we see the abdomen emerge through that straight in through we can start to tilt this way right as we see that kind of emerge and turn so we see her with right in through here the rib cage connection right in through the 12th rib or so right in through there and we'll taper that it changes directions a little bit as it comes downward so we'll pull down we'll pull down we'll pull down a little bit in through and out a little bit wider she curves she wants to curve around still at about slight eye level, right in through there. And then we'll get this nice, the pelvic girdle here, the iliac crest here. I'll mark it here and then over at a tilt, okay, right there. So we get them bulging here, the wider part of the hips, both male and female, but especially female. And then it's really done for you. The leotard does that. This curve, watch this, is kind of this bowl as it comes down. Here's the pelvic floor right in through there like a bowl, this whole bowl area, and then we can box it off a little bit here, and then we'll uh, pelvic floor and then up and through there, center line and through, big plane change right there at the end there. That's a big plane change there. All right, let's get the legs through, okay, so we can feel the gesture, let's feel the gesture back, let's feel where we want the knee to be, let's find the Outer, outer boundaries of the leg, okay, here we go. Let's feel that through and then outward in a nice curvature down the thickness here and then over. So we'll feel the thigh muscles, the quads in through the lower parts of those tendons and over. Now we've got a box of thigh, so it's hard to shadow, but watch this, about right where that shadow ends, that shadow here turns over the side of the knee, that's where we see that. So here's where it cuts and turns, like this and there. So we see right there's our box, or we're gonna make kind of a curve box on the outside to keep a little bit more a natural look. But we'll come up and it attaches, a box would attach about right there. Everybody can have a little bit different conception. Um, as we're working, then we'll come down the model. I would seriously consider studying Cambiasso's figures quite a bit. Really get a good handle, you know, on this. I'll put both these in a little bit of tone for now as they move over. So knee. Let's work the other knee here as it's spread out a little, just a little bit higher than 
here. So Ora will put a little bit more. Take a look at the negative space between her legs to help out that distance here. And it will feel this, the girdle of that, the girding of that uh, leotard up. We can feel that for now. We'll feel it as a cylinder and then we'll boxify it. So you can do both. It flattens here a little bit as we get a little bit of pelvic unit and then we come back over and downward. So a little wider, narrower over a little bit. And then we can take this pointing down, the knee is pointing down. So make sure we get that. Let's find the outer unit, part of the leg or outer contour, if you will. Where is that plane? Right about where the uh, shadow changes from light or dark into light, right in through there is her leg plane, the front plane to the side. Let's round that out a little bit and then we'll boxify that over to the side right through there. See how that works quite nicely. So we get a good feeling of where she's at now. Then we can take that and put that all in shadow. Then we can bring down this leg. We'll bring it down to again roughly the angle of the ankle through here. Rounded out. We'll find that attach and over. Okay, and then we can bring that all the way down to the leg, to the foot, to boxify about right there is the plane change and then she, she can change over there to the ankle and on out. And we'll take the other one as it curves downward, a little bit higher, so spread out a little bit further here and up and over. Right, and then we can find the outer calf as it works around correct. We see that nicely. And then down to a point, and then that there's where the plane change is right there on the model. Let's take care of the arms now and the hands. Let's come over to the uh, arm in through here, a little bit further, sternum in through there, where this can kind of come down and change plane through. And then we'll take this now. You know, I'll conceive it, I'll conceive of it as a cylinder. And then over to that tube around. Right, so that's kind of rounded like a cylinder, but let's find the plane change about right here. It's pretty high up, so we get a lot of that side arm here quite a bit more substantially. Right in through there and over, and then we're going to cut it this way. And we get a little bit of, actually a bit more straight, we get a little bit of, of the top part of that. A little bit more tapered and down and through, okay? <clears throat> so we see that coming right in through there. And then we'll start to get her curvature, that brachioradialis, that connector, over a little bit and down and through. And so we're going to get a nice twist with that box, which is hard to do. So we want to have a flexible box, don't we? Down and through and over and out. And the wrist and the hand would be off the page a little bit. Let's put the let's put the um, little bit of a. Uh, of flooring in there, that's what I'm trying to say. Sorry about that. Okay, and then lastly, this arm up and through here, that elbow about landing about right there. Here's go recapture our gesture. We'll put that underneath. Here's our form here for our first feeling of our tapered box or our cylinder and through there. There we go. Okay, and then we'll find that kind of where that shadow plane is, where she's at right in through there and back over. There's her box form for her uh, elbow. <clears throat> I'm going to put her, I'm going to put this side in shadow just easier since we can. Right in through there so we can see that. <clears throat> we'll see her box here out. We'll put that back in shadow, curve that around a bit. So we have that box flowing and then we come back over which is pretty flat here. We get that elbow joint popping out so we'll find that forearm area up to her wrist, which can box out there. We see it here to here, right? There's our box on that side, and let's square this up over, okay, and then sideways, okay, overlapping. There's our box here, tapered box, and over, and there she is right in through there. Again, we'll just leave the gesture of the hands and the, the fingers coming out through there as well up and over and then we have now let's let's uh, shorten this up a little bit right and through there you can take your finger kind of just wave that off a little bit and you have her underneath underneath there
All right, next pose. So we have uh, standing here, standing pose with the leotard, and then we have that cane or that pole. Let's uh, take a good feeling for this. Let's work with our gesture. Let's get that head up nice and pretty high there and over. Let's feel that. I can already feel the box form about right. I'll show you here and then back over. Here's our roughly our side plane about right. There to there to there. I'll keep it very very uh, wispy for now and then we can tighten that up as we come through about right in through there with the side plane. So we have the front plane here with the eye line here. It's tilted. I want to have a little bit more of a tilt here a little bit and then downward there a little bit in the front front part of that plane right in through here with the bottom of the nose roughly and through there. Don't get fussy with the heads. Keep the heads very simple. Uh, let's, don't, let's stay away from lots of detail. Uh, it's kind of a, again a blockier form with that. So we have the nose uh, there and the, the uh, neck coming through. We won't see the neck a lot, but I'm going to feel it as about something like this coming over. So you can kind of feel what I'm thinking. All right, let's take uh, more fullness of the of the overall gesture to her shoulder in through here. Let's feel her design line coming through here, curving in through there where those hips would be roughly right. In through there, well, well, well outside the back of the head, so the hips are pulled over a pretty decent way. So make sure we get those hips way far over. She's really turning this way uh, over. We'll feel that shoulder coming this way with the gesture of the shoulder here, right? But then we'll come back, find that line of being kind of where the breast is through there and over with her. The nice uh, curvature of her back, her rib cage is roughly. Right in through here. Keep it nice and light and broad. That's why I like uh, drawing with the palm, Renaissance palm method here. You can kind of feel that outer part of the buttock. Curve in deeply with the rib cage to the abdomen. Right in through there into the bottom part of her pelvic. Girdling in through there. And so let's get the, the legs, the gesture of the legs. Let's get that design stem coming through nice and curved. Where does that knee in? Horizontal vertical alignment about where the back of the head is. See that? Right in through there. Don't worry if you don't miss, if you don't get it, correct it or leave it a little bit if it's okay. We're not copying the model, we're analyzing. Let's get her leg down to her foot, coming in through here. Get a feeling of that triangular wedge. Now we'll feel where her leg ends, about right here on the back part. That's what we're shooting for. Leg coming down, knee is much higher. That's where I'm marking it through, just a gesture point and getting her to point her foot up nicely. Kind of graceful got pose there. Really nice monox on a nice kid through here. So we're coming with the, the shoulder here, downward to the elbow, the elbow roughly underneath the breast, rough uh, form about right in through there where I want to change that plane over, where she's leaning over with her hand right in through there, and then the upper hand here and she's holding the pole a slightly different direction. It's coming out. So we now, now have a good feeling for our, our very basic armature gesture. And then we can start really working with kind of the outside part of our, of our model here. <clears throat> Let's start to boxify her on the, bot, the, uh, the pelvic unit. So right in through here, I'll mark the pelvic crest here, right, coming over. And then the other one about right there where her leotard starts to go from her natural skin tone to the leotard right through here. So here's that underneath box. Can you see it? That's not easy. That's totally hard. <clears throat> right in through there. Coming down and over. Okay. And through here. Right in through and up and through. And then here's our box coming down right in through there. So that's a difficult part, but I want you to see that. See how I keep it wispy? Right in through there. And then we're going to come down a little bit. And then we're going to put these legs on top of that, of that box. Now, if we can let her buttock be naturally a little bit more curved for now, then we're going to put that leg, uh, attach that leg right in through here, down over to the knee. Okay, through. Here's our top plane of our leg as it comes over and we can curve this a little bit. See how I boxify and then also curve and box and then nice and full leg coming down to catch the side part of that boxier hip as this pulls downward this way, this pulls across and then of course we pull down with the box here. 
Okay, this is more important than anatomy. If you can get a good volumetric figure with scale and proportion, wherever your, your uh, level is, this is more important than anatomy. This will teach you more about controlling a figure drawing than anatomy. Then when you have when you have a good sense of the figure for some years, then you can go to anatomy. Don't let it be the first thing that you do. It won't help you. It'll only confuse you. Anatomy is important, but right now it's not. Egg form for the calf. Let's go down through, curve it to the ankles here and over. That tells us where the front of the leg is from here to here. Watch this. So we come through. We'll curve a little bit with that calf. And we're going to make it a box. Right in through here. Here's the side of our box. Let's give a little bit more calf. Okay, and let's get, see where the shadow ends, the light begins, that's that plane up. And so we've got a kind of a curvy sort of box, and you can do that, have a little bit of, of both and keep it kind of in the human realm, and then she's going to turn the side right there, that's important, right in through there, and then we can tone that down. And let's get a little bit of the wedge footing in through here, okay, coming over, simplify the feet around, okay, and over, and it's really turning here. Here, right, and then boom, there's our corner, right through there, ankle over, right in through, here's our side plank, and there we are with our foot turning around in location. Now, let's go and grab the other leg since we're here, so we can take that foot, find that kind of where that toe is going to be there, so we have something to shoot for. We see a little over here, we see a little part of the box in the side, think through it coming down, here's the knee, pushing more out this way. So we'll fill it here, right, and here's where the front of the leg is, where that knee is, and then there's that nice side just barely showing through, right, up in there, and that would be tapered up. And then we see, that's what we see there, and then we can put both of that in a little bit of shadow. Really work on your line play. Let your lines uh, uh, begin to, excuse me, uh, show through a little bit further <clears throat> where we have uh, contouring, so this overlaps, let this be darker line, so that feels like it's going in the back. Here's back through our gesture, back through our pointed leg, foot, and through here, so we're going to catch this calf up a little higher, bring that knee up a little bit, that's going to go, it's really connecting right through here and over, isn't it? Right in through there, we feel that round calf, we feel the front coming down to the ankle right there, okay, see how it tapers? As it gets four short, it gets a little squeeze from the camera through there, then over. Here we go, through. And then we have that foot coming over and topping out. And through. And then we'll get a little bit of that to box out here. Okay, watch this. And three, now keep that boxing. <clears throat> and over. And down through. And we're pretty good, in pretty good shape there. And I'll throw all this in just kind of a tone in through here. And then we can have that platform back there. And let's finish out the top of the body. So we've got a nice uh, shoulder area here through here, which is really important. Let's find that shoulder ch uh, tension right in through here. So we get this side of the box about right in through here. Watch this. We're going to curve over. We're going to feel the oval. And then we're going to box about We're going to stretch, stretch around through here, stretch around through here, then up. And then we'll pull this box a little bit a little bit higher and we won't see it so we'll see this overturn here right and that's going to get us to that shoulder so the center of the box is pushed out into the back uh, which is on the other side of the back over and through there so we'll pull this shadow turn that a little bit the true center is back and around we'll never really see it because it's over here. Now we're going to pull this other part, this abdomen to the side here. Watch this. So we have the center about right here a little bit. Now we can find its side as it's pulled over a little bit farther in that twist right there. And here's that abdomen box. There she is right through there. Here's her center over and it's pushed around and we'll see it. We'll boxify it just like that. So we get that real nice twist that she's getting us and, that, and giving us, and that seam of the leotard gets uh, some of that too uh, as well. And so we start to get a little bit of the front, and it's obscured a little bit for the breast, from the breast. The breast is about right in through there a little bit, and let's start to find that shoulder. So we have that deltoid coming over here. Let's find the gesture. Let's refine that elbow, make it probably a little longer. 
in through here and downward a little bit. <clears throat> Hand being about right there above, set, set, definitely above the knee, right in through here. Let's find that joint. I like to find the, the, the joint to the other joint. See that together. Here's what we're seeing in terms of the box. Right here is the top plane. We see a little bit of that. We're simplifying the deltoid. And over, we'll come back in space. And then we get a wider view of that sign as it turns over. Of course, that'll be tapered up and over to the box of that shoulder. You can kind of attach it any way you want. If you wanted to do this a little bit, that's okay. Two, to show the kind of the scapula coming through there a little bit. And then we can really have this cleaned up, maybe just a little bit higher off of her uh, shoulder a little bit, her back, and then the cheek of the, uh, excuse me, the neck and through here, mouth and through there as well. So we're on our way. So let's take now the lower part of the arm with the flexors and extensors and the brachial radialis, this little muscle that pops out that attaches up to here and comes over. Now we see right in through here where that elbow is, we're going to see a pretty full view of that arm, so it might feel a little flat. So right in through here, downward, okay? Find the wrist. What we're going to find is this little dark part where that bone is. That'll tell us where the side is and then it's going to move over. So here's what we see. Roughly, here's our top part of that box, with a little rounded, and the side is a little thicker, fuller, a lot, or, uh, quite a bit, and we'll just taper these two together. You can, you can arrange your joints any way you want as they come, knees as they come together, you can see all that kind of come together. And let's put the hand on, just more gestural, we'll just see it as an oval, and then I can just slightly boxify it like this, and then we'll gesture the fingers, kind of a broad tone here, here small in uh, third index and then that's that's good for that and let's find the other now <clears throat> we don't see a lot of that other arm we come back over a little bit so it's a little high on my gesture you always can uh, correct as you as you need gestures are meant to, as approximations and not definitive things when you get into volume you start to get really defined so let's find the bottom of the wrist here that will help us with our box up and over and it's pretty flat there. I'm going to give a little side just because I need to. I like to have a couple sides going and then uh, right there we're going to put that shaft just to pull that back apart and of course now we see the whatever the uh, hold there and we've got her working pretty handily. Let's make her a little broader back in through here and over and there we go. All right, here we have a nice sort of uh, athletic uh, in motion pose that are nice to have because you don't get these with the model because you can't freeze frame them uh, unless you take imagery, so that's nice to have. So let's analyze this pose. Let's start with the, the overall gesture. Let's really tilt her, push her over. Look how far she's coming over, right? Hip will be roughly in there, and then the knee will come over. Look, that's a nice kick in through there. It's really nice to go with the shoulders roughly kind of in through here. So let's locate the head first. Let's get that. Let's get that tilt of the head roughly to the uh, chin there and down. So I'll kind of start with an oval and I can start to feel the box roughly right in through here. And then over this way, we'll curve that box to give that angle, curve this a little bit. And we'll have this to this here. And we'll curve this over a little bit like Cambiasso does, like he taught us a little bit. This will come back in space, actually a little bit more this way. It won't be that wide. It will be about right in through here. So we'll have that side plane of that head coming down. We'll have tone here, and then we'll have the eye line and kind of a nose line or, or just a, bottom, a symbol for the nose. And that's, that's pretty much all you want for the, for the head in through. Now we can find, let's find the... A bit more the gesture, the shoulder axis coming across nicely here, over to here. There she's really pulled over, stretched over this way, arm, love that coming over, elbow through here, right? We can mark that and then up and through to the hand, lovely. Get that beautiful curve and then it's balanced by this coming back through here and then we get the hip. So the here is where the line of being is right here. Notice where the pubic floor is past the head. 
So it really does this slinkiness over through here. Let's mark where the hip pointers of the, uh, excuse me, the pelvic crests are here to, see I curve that over to there, which is going to put that there at a slide diagonal here and then here, right? Okay. Now let's find the gesture for the knee foreshortened. That'll be fun to deal with. About right through here, not far off the pelvic floor. In through here and then over. We're going to find that gesture. And the foot about the, where the end of the toe, about where the end of the hip is. So right about there where the point would be of that foot coming through. Leg, other leg coming down. Let's find the bony landmark about where the ankle, slightly above, isn't it? All the way through here. Look at that. And then she's going to stay on that leg on that trajectory and we'll find that other foot just slightly underneath through there and I'll give a little bit of indication where that line is going to be and that's what gesture does for us. So let's find her center again of her head in through here. Let's find the pit of the neck roughly in through here and that's going to tell us look at the angle where that box is. So here's our box and she's going to give us a little top of the shoulder girdle of, the, of that box uh, form here all the way over to about right in through there. We're going to box that out. Okay, we're going to see that. That's going to give us, we'll, we'll take off the breast for now. We'll, that will give us this and over to the bottom of the rib cage, about right in through. That's going to curve, feel this to that box and then over, think through the arms, take the arm off now. We'll attach it in a moment. This box is going to go deep, kind of like this angle to this angle and over. There she is there. Okay. So we have that, all right? So here's the center here between the breast, the sternum, right in the middle, right in through there, then downward. So this is pointing this way, and the, the pelvis and the abdomen are starting to point down this way. So we come here, we come through. How about that for amazing body contrapposto, which is what you want. Uh, curving, 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 curving on through, and we really don't find a side here we get this over and we start to see maybe just a little bit over through here, even more pushed over, just a touch here to there on that hip. So we get a little bit turning, but not a whole lot. So here's our lima bean, our boxes through here. Okay. We're coming down and over. Here's our center. Here's our pelvic floor and then up through our pelvic girdle and then right all through the, the, uh, the iliac crests here and then through there. All right, let's continue on with the legs and then we'll get the rest of the model, the top part of the model. Let's start with the foreshortening leg. Let's find where that knee is going to be about here. Let's find that box here. Let's make it a cylinder, an egg form, right in through there. Okay, here it is nice and wide coming through. We can see it's kind of a bread box. She'll attach back in through here. This will taper nicely. Watch that to there and over, okay? Now, here's, here's what's interesting about a foreshortened leg. You get this top, watch this. You get this a little bit to here, and you also get another third plane kind of into there. So we get this. We'll, we'll ease off on boxing at the back, so we'll keep that curve. But you see we get this. This can come down, right? And then we get this turning over, and we get a little bit of this coming through widening out since it's tapered. You'll get those, which are pretty interesting. Uh, I love uh, when we get a pose like that for shortening so we can start to see that. And of course this will curve over and around like that. And so that'll give it a little bit of more human quality. So that gets our foreshortening. We're not far off the pelvic floor here. And now we can come over, fill that tibia fibia curve right till we get to her ankle, about right in through there. And it's going to get larger because it's also foreshortened. So let's feel the ball, the oval of the <clears throat> calf area through here. Let's feel that and then box it as we come down a little bit here. Okay, as we come down that side to that outer ankle malleolus, right in through here. And here's the, this, the plane of that side right in through there. And of course, this is going to come over, taper, and down. So we'll boxify this out over a little bit. Now let's find that plane right where the shadow is. Okay, this is straight across. And then we're going to get this coming back over a little bit here. I'll move that a little bit downward here to here and back over. And watch this. We'll have this boxy curve plane right in through that for our knee. 
uh, area right in through there, and we'll get that triangular part of the kneeling point of that joint. This will come over and overlap a little bit, and of course we get her now there, and we'll put a little, little tone here, and let's get that foot coming over. Now it's going to get much larger. Let's get the organic feel of it coming through, like so, where she's pointing her toe. Take the toes off, and think of it as a box. Here, watch this, around. Okay, the toe joint, so taking the toes off, they would come out of that and over and around. We'll get a little bit of that side coming through. This will come up, this will be a thickness slightly there, and this will overlap. And now we get those toes, and watch this. We'll feel this over a little bit, that side, and we can turn this over and get that. A boxier feeling as she's kicking out towards us a little bit. So now we've got this nice contrapposto going. So let's find the other leg in through here. Let's find that knee about roughly above, uh, right about at the ankle. So I'll, I'll find that joint. I'll find where I want to curve that joint. So we'll get the leotard back over here, right? And that tells me that is. It's all kind of downward here. So we can kind of find our, our thrusting outer, outer plane of that. I'm going to close her in just a little bit to that side as we move out and through. And then we'll see that the plane of the knee moves this way. So that means that we're mostly seeing a front view of this leg down. We're going to see a little tapered side on the left side, right in through as we go a little bit thicker and over. This should be a little bit more. How about that for that thigh? Let's see a little bit more of that tapering down and over. See that? You can take that through and around, and then we'll get this to pull just a little bit and taper her down and kind of disappear. I'm going to bring this over just to make it, we get a little bit of separation to that as they almost touch uh, in there. And we see this vision here around, and we get that side plane to that box there. And there's uh, roughly our side, we have a little cast shadow that we can throw through, and then mostly this plane I'll go ahead and put in shadow here to get that leg working. And in the back of the leg, we'll feel that calf coming through and over. See, it's a little bit higher than the, the foot there. And it gets tapered and it gets smaller as we go in perspective. We get a little bit of distortion from the, from the camera. And then we come down, we'll find that ankle tilted this way, right there. And in the boxy part of the joint is where the shadow is here to here. Right in through there, we'll take this, we'll boxify this, box this off, bring this tape of this down a little bit. Here's her ankle, right in through there, turns, side plane, then front of the leg where the ankle is there, and then out and up and over that way. That's not easy to draw. And then we'll put her back in tone here, okay, down a little bit, and then we'll put her foot on as it points downward through here. They try and get her wedge. Go back and look at the foot video. This will come over to help you out. And we're just going to cut this off and over. That back through and then we get this kind of top boat like plane in through there. We have this feet in through there and as she's sitting now nicely down. Now let's get her, her, her uh, arms and her neck on. So we'll put the neck here to the center. Come over. Here's the center part, so that's where the plane changes, and she tilted a little bit here, and then over through that neck and back. Curve that, and this will come up or through the head right there, I like that line a little bit better through there. This was a fun one. And so let's bring her arms over again. So I'm gonna just, they say I can fade this out, and I can bring my gesture back, curve her shoulder to find that deltoid, and then go back and find the ends of what would be our box here to the elbow joint. Here's where it straightens in through there, then it really turns over to the side. See how it curves, it opens up a little bit further this plane to here and over. Okay, and then we come up over here and then this will be down and you can kind of curve the shoulder top a little bit and that's what you're going to get from her side plane right in there of her bottom part of her upper arm in through there and let's get her to come up and over now. Okay, we can curve this again, find that elbow condyle in through here, up and over. Find the, uh, the wrist. The wrist is very boxy, so here's the side. You see it there, then up and through where this little joint is, or that little elbow 
Ulnar P, we call it. That will help you. And then we can boxify this here. We can boxify over to there. And you're on, you can curve this to make it a little bit more natural. However you want to do your joint, we can take a little bit of this and make it a little bit of tone for her. There and through. <clears throat> and then we can come up to get this hands kind of already done for us here to the knuckle. Over to the knuckle, that's the top plane of the box, and around and over to the side and over and through. And then we'll just, when you have the fingers and you have these short poses, you know, unless you're doing something really long, just, just uh, uh, gesture those over. And make it put a little curve on her shoulder, just for the, just for the heck of it, a nice aesthetic. And there we go, I think, with our pose here.